Dubai Electricity and Water Authority plans to launch over 100 electric vehicle charging stations at shopping malls and petrol stations by the year end. With a cheaper mileage of 100 kilometers at a cost of only 7 dirhams, should a switch to electric vehicles be considered? Mohamed Noer from Car Moody believes that 45 minutes to 2 hours to fully charge a car can be too inconvenient for drivers in the UAE. Let's do a quick comparison. For example, if you charge your car in one of these stations, it's going to cost you seven dirhams to get it charged for a 100 kilometer range. If you look into, for example, petrol, uh, petrol cars, you're probably doing five to six uh, liters per 100 kilometers. That means it's around 12 to 13 dirhams. So the difference is not that dramatically huge, especially for people who really care for convenience. Um, so there is talks around it, people are interested around it, and it will definitely affect in uh, fuel efficiency, but the equation needs to work well and uh, the ecosystem needs to be built into place. Running on both fuel and electric power, hybrid vehicles can be an option to consider for UAE drivers. Priced at around 165,000 dirhams, Nissan has introduced the Hybrid Path Finder to the Middle Eastern market. The company believes that reduced fuel costs and carbon footprint should be an incentive. In addition to fuel efficiency, the new Nissan Pathfinder Hybrid has no compromise. Um, in terms of spaciousness, the third row is the same capacity as the conventional uh, Pathfinder, but also the driving performance. The 2.5 litre supercharged engine combined with the electric engine of 15 kilowatt, in fact delivers the same performance as the 3.5 litre V6 engine uh, coming into the uh, regular Pathfinder. Meanwhile, with the cost of fuel relatively cheaper than European countries, representatives from Ford Middle East believe that demand for green vehicles will remain low in the short run. Heavy usage of air conditioning and impact of summer heat on electric motors do not make hybrid cars a feasible option. Hybrids rely a lot on you know, electrical charge and that uh, represents typically that generates heat. I mean, anybody who uses a mobile phone here will know that sometimes your, your phone can get very hot. So it's the same challenge with, with uh, hybrids. So the, the difficulty, there's a, there is a challenge, a technical challenge. And also, as I repeat, the consumer is going to pay a lot for that technology for probably maybe 100 dirhams a month savings. So you, you're not talking, you know, huge financial incentive to make that switch. Hybrid cars can cost around 15,000 to 30,000 dirhams more than vehicles running on petrol. Therefore, car manufacturers in the UAE are now introducing fuel-efficient technologies such as EcoBoost and Start-Stop system. We have the Auto Start-Stop uh, feature that's actually a lot of car manufacturers starting to launch such as BMW, Audi, Porsche, even, uh, even Ford and uh, other, other manufacturers are actually starting to push it. And the research says that these kind of technologies save 5 to 7% of fuel consumption. Imagine just saving 5 to 7% of fuel consumption uh, on a countrywide level. I mean, even if the UAE goes forward with requiring that one of the Gulf specifications becomes having an auto uh, stop start feature, that is definitely a huge amount of savings uh, on petrol itself. Ford has invested in a technology called EcoBoost, which is you know in, in green in, in the elements of eco, uh, combined with a boost element of the turbo. And what we've done is we've used smaller displacement v engines uh, to meet the needs of the consumer. So the vehicle you see behind me used to be equivalently like a V8 5-litre five engine, and now we replaced it with a 3.5 V6. And biz bizarrely, or surprisingly for maybe the consumer, is that vehicle is more powerful, providing more torque and more horsepower, substantially, region of 20 to 30 percent. So you'll see smaller and smaller engines providing more higher power will be the future that, uh, for, from a Ford perspective. With a modest rise in prices of fuel, consumers may prefer to drive vehicles with fuel-efficient technology. Only time will tell what the future holds for eco-friendly cars. Abdul Karim, UA Weekly.